Orlando residents will also have a chance to address another big issue in the community. All the flooding we've seen over the past week. Now, some people are blaming the major construction project on Delaney Avenue for the flooding there, saying that this never used to happen before when it rained. Let's choose Spencer Tracy joins us now. And Spencer, while this is not officially on the agenda, the public, though, they can speak up. They can speak up and a lot of them plan to. I spoke with them a couple yesterday and they tell me they have a lot of concerns about this flooding and one couple says that their home was completely flooded inside and out and they're now facing thousands of thousands of dollars worth of damage and they don't want this to happen to anyone else. Now the Harrisons did not have flood insurance when they moved in and were told they do not live in a flood zone. They question how their neighborhood flooded so quickly. Last week they met with Orlando Commissioner Patty Sheehan and public work officials demanding answers. Neighbors say the drains were blocked during the rainstorm. The city argues it was not the construction's fault and that the existing drain still works. We had five to seven inches. There was six inches of rain that happened here. All right. Um, our storm system is not designed to handle that much rain, so there was some localized flooding. We just, have the flow well, of the storm just wait. passing all of the drains I, wait, just, that you guys clogged. And in that neighborhood, there is a $13 million project underway that stretches about a mile long Delaney Avenue. The city says this project needs to occur in order to help prevent long term flooding and enhance the storm system. Now, anyone concerned about flooding in Orlando can submit a public comment before 9 a.m. this morning and then that will follow with the 2 p.m. meeting. Of course, we will continue to stay on this this morning. For now, reporting live in Orlando, I'm Spencer Tracy, West 2 News.